Pakistan. What is the origin of that name? So I'm Pakistani, but my name is Arabic. It means the gift of God. Interesting. Well, we love the name. Thank you, thank you. What do you do for a living? I've been modeling for the past six and a half years, doing local fashion shows and, you know, upcoming designers. All right, let's see it. Let's see the walk. Oh, Give right us now? the walk, okay. Sam. Come on. Oh, here we go. Sell it. You better walk. Walk. Okay, he's getting walk. Go. Boom, 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 the neutral, boom, boom. Neutral, hands pocket. Oh. Turn. Oh, nice the little. pivot. Nice. Ooh, Show the, the jacket. Show yep. the garment. The turn. Sell the garment. Wow. Yes. Wow, that was good. Wow. Wait, so wait, I, now I want that outfit. I gotta have it. I gotta have it. <laughs> All right, well, cool. So you're 22 now. Yes. And then you say yes. about two years ago, you're on Tinder and you meet Roger. So tell us how that started and progressed. After I came out, a lot of my friends were like, oh, you know, um, you should download Tinder, you download this, you should download that. And you know, you're matching people, or you're swiping, and then I match with Roger. And that same day, he was like, God, you're so pretty, you're so beautiful, you're this, this, and that. And I'm like, slow your roll. Mm. So he just kept messaging, and I was like, you know what, let me just reply to him. And we started talking, and he was always just really nice. He told me he's from Orlando, but he works for the government. So he tells me he flies in and out of DC all the time. So we just started talking more and more. Like a month or two later, we finally talked on the phone, just because I was going through a lot of family stuff, and he was just able to be there for me and listen to me and advise me. I mean, he's older than me. When I was 21, he was 31. Like a couple months after that, I had developed feelings, and then we've just been on it ever since. So how long has it been now that you guys are sort of official? Almost two years. So you guys are like exclusive. Yeah. I mean, when we deleted our Tinder, he told me that I'm serious about you, I really want to get to know you, and that's when we deleted it at the same time. Have you guys said that you love each other? He said it first, but I eventually did come around and said it, so we have. Are you guys connected on any other platforms, any social media? So he's not a social media person, which at first I was like, you don't have social media, that's like not having a car. That's just like, what are you doing? But I've definitely asked him about it, but he's just not for it. He has a government job, he is older. So we're not even connected or anything. We just like text every now and then. We, talk, we FaceTimed a few times. What? But here's the thing though, I've never really seen his face. Uh. <laughs> what have you seen? It's not even FaceTime. It's beard time. That's what I'm gonna call it. Because the cameras are, yeah, Here. it's like. <laughs> so you just is literally, weird. it's like I seen. <laughs> that is weird. So I asked him. I was like, so do you just have a giant pimple on your face? And that's when I felt like a really bad person because he has cancer and oh. he's going through treatment and he just felt really insecure. But when did he tell you that? I want to say this was like a little less than a year or so. And I was like, so can I see your face? And that's when he was like, okay, I want to be honest with you. I'm currently dealing with this and you're so good looking. So I'm just kind of scared that, you know, you might not think I look nice. I never like pushed that. So I was like, you know what? I'm gonna give you that space. So has he told you what exactly his, his health issues are right now? No, because he doesn't want to worry me. Every time I ask him, he'll be like, no, I don't want to worry you, but just know I'm okay. Do you have pictures of him that you can show us? Yes. So this is him. Oh, wow. Yeah. Oh, Roger. Wow. I mean, just, just that, chilling. You can't tell me that man's not confident. Well, wait, but this was before, right? These are all pictures right. from before he got sick, mm. I guess. Mm -hmm. And that's a very full beard. So yeah. the beard you saw is like same. Yeah. I see a what looks like a wedding ring. I've actually never paid attention to that. <gasps> oh no. Cammy, your first thought when we were after reading your email was, he's married to a woman. Listen, I've, 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 had to, I've had to deal with my fair share of straight guys and I'm not dealing with that again. Does he talk about past relationships? You know, I've asked him about his past and he's always been like, sometimes you just know that this is not the person for you and you just know you have to go separate ways. And he would always just reassure me, just don't worry, I can already see that's not gonna happen with you and I already know I found the one. The one? He would just go on, he would just, he would just go on about that. Zark, are you his gift from God? I don't know, am I? But see, now I'm worried. I was cool before, but now I'm like, what if he's married? I mean, on one hand, you're right to be skeptical, right? Because you've been talking a long time. The FaceTiming thing is a little sus, but 
I could definitely see this going either way. Yeah. I hope that Roger is who you think he is. I, I think, though, that you are right to think that there is something that he's hiding. Like, some of the stuff he does is kind of just, like, doesn't make sense to me because it's like, what is it that you're not telling me? You know, what is it that I should be worried about? I, I just need answers at this point. All right, well, look. Send us his pictures and his phone number and whatever else you have. If he's telling the truth and there's nothing to hide, then we shouldn't find anything when we do a little research and uh, we'll get back to you as soon as we have some results. My heart's gonna be beating until then because that whole wedding ring really kinda pushed me back. So I'm, I'm gonna try to stay calm. All right, Zark. Talk soon, right, buddy. talk soon. Bye-bye. Bye. He's married. I mean, or the guy in the pictures might be married. The fact that he says that they've FaceTimed a few times. Right. But it's almost weirder that he's done a, a mouth time. I'd be like, show me your full face or get the f out of here. He then revealed that he's been sick lately. So maybe he's swollen, maybe he's breaking out, maybe he's, you know, you don't know. I don't want to not believe that. And I know Zark doesn't want to not believe that. But he's also been so sketchy that it's like hard to believe that he's not hiding some big, dark secret. We've never had two hopeless hook up. An identical twin. <gasps> Everybody in Hawaii is in on this. <gasps> That's insane. We've never seen anything like this. The catfish sent you the real guy's Facebook page. Come on.